How's it going, everybody? My name is Metalcore, and welcome back to another Undawn video. We've got the patch notes for the next update. This is going to be huge. This is the level 70 update, and we could read through this together to kind of learn together, and we could talk about it. And you guys can also let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of all these patch notes. You know, we could, we could discuss it. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you are new. And then also, here is a code on screen. It's going to give you something special. It's not RC. I think I always get it confused. Whatever the in-game currency is that you pay actual money for. The last video, I gave away 1400 This time, I'm just giving away whatever the code is there. It's probably like a gift pack or something. But make sure you guys put that code in. And I've heard you guys. If you guys are not on the North America server, I'm trying to get codes for everybody in the coming future but let's check out this patch note the new desert fury update has arrived and undone we'll be updating the game on august 24th you know that once the game updates on that day it's a little bit confusing because it's four to ten utc minus five um whenever it does come out i'll be streaming on that day so sometime on august 24th i will be streaming it looks like it's early so in the afternoon or something i'll be streaming for you guys this update it's gonna be really really exciting we recommend downloading this update over Wi-Fi due to its size. It looks like it's going to be a big update. Once in the game, claim your update gift, 1,500 coupons, 20,000 silver, and two material supply packs by August 27th. And then, yeah, there's a permanent outfit for free, which the outfit we've seen in-game, it's a full outfit with a backpack. Super sick. Thank you, Undawn, for giving us permanent outfits. Here we go. Desert Fury update preview. New map, Golden Desert. Technically, it is not a new map, but looking into it, the Chinese version of Undawn, yeah, I looked into it, and it does have a brand new map, and I'm not going to spoil it because I'm going to do a reaction video to it, but even though this desert map has been in the game since launch, they are going to be releasing a, an entirely new map whenever, I, I think it's like the level 100 update or something, but they are a little bit like like ahead of us, so... I just wanted to let you guys know that that is going to eventually come out. So, uh, yeah, we talk about the Golden Desert, new story, the Abyss. We've got new story, new settlement, junkyard, carnival, carnival land for the owls. So this is a new settlement. I'm pretty sure that means new reputation, new roles. So this is what I wanted to talk about because I looked a little bit through the patch notes and I'm going to leave a link to the official website patch notes so you guys can read it if you guys are on your phone or something. You guys don't want to turn on the game. You guys can read it yourself. Trabador and Highwaymen. I wanted to read this because, look at Raging on the Yellow Sands of the Wasteland and Cruising in the Rock and Roll Speeder, the new Highwaymen and Trabador roles are coming to Undawn. Meet Trabador who can play five instruments. Guitar, bass, guitar, wooden crate, and don't know what that other one is. In the Band and Road Tour Mode, arriving August 31st. So that's coming out like a week after the update. So it looks like on August 31st, we should be able to reach level 75. So that's a good note. And then meet the highwaymen who can modify and tune your vehicles for better performance on September 14th. Tur turn on the autopilot and radio while driving for musical adventure level requirement 79. So by September 14th, we're gonna get another update it looks like this update's going to have all this stuff, but there's going to be release dates for certain things. It kind of sucks that it doesn't instantly come out, but what does instantly come out is our opportunity to grind and start crafting new things. New events. Amidst the raging sandstorm and lurking monsters in the golden desert, a fresh threat emerges. So we've got camp supplies, new events, frontline rescue, new events. So new weeklies, basically. Beast intel and fast ops. Really cool. New game modes. Wilderness whirlwind. Get ready for an exhilarating race. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of race stuff because it looks like that level 79, um, the Highwayman, it's racing. It's 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 all about like racing and tuning up your car. That's sick. I, I just got a new car skin and I'm happy with it. It's it's one that's, it's not the Lamborghini. It's not as expensive, but I'm not sure if there's special cars that aren't going to be your own car skins or, or, you know, I'm not sure how that's going to work yet. Um, wilderness whirlwind get ready for a race in the scorching desert outmaneuver the opposition so this is a race it's a race game mode foggy battle hunt for vital resources it replaces camp patrol every tuesday i do dislike and i've said this before i don't like that they they do this they don't it's really bizarre they do this thing where they have the days they have events on days 
And sometimes on those days, like let's say, what is this, on Tuesday, what if I'm really busy on Tuesday? That's Star Wars Day. Like Ahsoka comes out. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play Undawn at that specific time with that specific event. Or what if I'm sleeping? You know, that's the one thing that I don't like about it. Nightmare special op. So we've got a new special op training match, a new season of training match awaits. So it looks like there is a new season. Experience the new PvP hotspot combat mode and the new Doomsday Training Ground Desert map. We've got a new map. Tears will be reset with the start of a new quest. Um, we've got the hotspot combat mode, weekend only arena mode, which is going to take longer than the annihilation mode. Exploration modes, and we've got all these other exploration modes as well. That's really cool. We've got the portable... This is... It's, I think it'll show it down here. New game features. Defense expertise. Unlock an exclusive skill. Tactical shield and the heavy weapon gun shield. It's like a gun with a shield on it. Like a heavy machine gun. This is also new. This is going to come out the instant the update comes out. It's a new way to boost your stats. The gene synthesis system. Reach level 70 and complete the genetic recomb recombination program mission to unlock the gene synthesis system. We've got custom rooms. This is going to be huge. I'm really excited about this one. This is beginning sep September 28th. So now we know September 28th is when level 80 is going to come out. So it's about a month since, uh, uh, or, or, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe it'll come out sooner, but about a month till level 80 comes out. Be able to invite your friends and um, you'll be able to do annihilation mode, arena mode, domination mode, hotspot, combat mode, multiplayer casual modes will be introduced at a later date. This is insane. Character makeover. Use a customization card and you can reselect your character's gender and appearance. Gender. So that big thing that I talked about in my one video about gender, it's actually happening. We're going to be able to swap genders, which is huge. Existing cosmetics will update to the new gender if applicable, requiring no repurchase. Some gender items, however, will be unavailable. New weapons. We've got the SVD and the AK Alpha. And a new melee weapon. SVD. We got a semiotic sniper. Um, pet appearance. New giant aberration boss. We've got a new giant lizard that is going through the desert map. Competitive updates. Increase the cooldown time for skill deployment after the Scar Firearm Talent with Recovery Probability adjusted to 100%. Increased M3 Shotgun Damage. Increase the M13 uh, Heavy Machine Gun Damage. If that is... If that's the uh, M134... I'm not sure if that's the Heavy Machine Gun that is the M249 in other games. Or if that's the, like, Gatling Gun. If it's the Big Boy Heavy Machine Gun, I might use it. Increase total healing and armor triggered with the firearm talent. So these are some firearm talent stuff. Increase the Origin 12 shotgun damage and enabled it to use auto fire. Oh, usually I think the Origin 12 is also considered the S12K in other games. But I think it has a special magazine in this game. Full auto. The Assault Expert talent fully loaded has been updated to increase armor and armor piercing when the same enemy is hit multiple times with... The heavy machine... Oh, it might be that. Increase the MPX submachine gun damage. The throwing talent foam bomb now immobilizes for three seconds. Improved aim assistance. The biotic... The biotic rifle. I think that's a healing rifle. Now has a new ally lock-on feature. And teammate healing feedback has been enhanced. Character can now jump or crouch during melee attacks. Cool. Improved melee hitbox. And... Refined indoor camera effects, overhead HP bar appearance, collapse character rescue feedback, and tactical skill effects. General update system updates. Uh, let's see if there's anything special here. We've got a uh, desert exploration shop, so that's going to be new. Enjoy the newly added Golden Desert music album. Shorten the role switching time with a new action log roll screen. Enhance vehicle experiences and with comfort mode and sport mode. That makes sense because... It's a ra there's a race car kind of in this update, like racing. NPC rolls, optimize ADS, introduce new video setting options. That's cool. Add a new uh, entertainment facilities with all chat functions for camp. Um, adjusted the weekly roommate training. Increased the Astral Tower level cap from 81 to 100. I honestly, it sucks. I didn't have the time to really grind Astral Tower. I was doing so many other things. And because I'm playing two games... I wasn't able to really grind the Astral Tower, but from what I've heard, I should be able to grind it up 
and I'm going to be a lot more uh, into it this season for Undawn now that we're growing the channel. Homestead update, homestead level cap to level 13, and vehicle display. Put your beloved vehicles on display in the homestead garage. Furniture quantity, increase allowance per home level by 50 times. We've got balcony decor, enhanced camera option, improved layout, homestead blueprint, and crop trading. That's kind of cool. And then that is the end of that. So all in all, banger update. It is going to be a banger update. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. I don't really do patch notes videos that often, but with Undawn, I'm really into the statistics. I'm really into this game. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this update. I will be live streaming when the update comes out on the 24th. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the, the stream. Not the stream. I hope you guys do enjoy the streams whenever we do do them. But um, cool. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Metalcore, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.